general tarot reading. Whenever it finds you is when I'm sure it's me to find you. I know you're having the day that you deserve. So that's just how it goes sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time, anyway. I like to believe. Four of Swords. Seventh House Energy. Taking time to go inward and heal. Reflecting. Trying to find out a, a way to make your mental health feel rooted and stable within your uh, idea of partnerships, uh, contracts, things like that. It's the seventh house energy. So Libra, really trying to find the fairness in situations, being very um, content in your mind. As I said before, like reflecting, things like that, it's really cool. You may be reflecting on what you believe to be, um, what you believe relationships to be, like what you believe relationships should be. I'll show you this because this usually doesn't pop up for me in this, in like when I see the four of swords. But if you look back here, if you almost like look a certain way, you can see it seems to be like some type of a coupling and you can kind of gather like, I don't know, it's like a, a noble gathering, we'll call it. Of people there's like a, even a child looking up like in the stained glass like it's like your idea of what you believe partnerships to be what you believe balance to be when it comes to your mind because of what you think partnership should be that's super specific but it's just it is what it is yeah <clears throat> okay mm -hmm. Being super patient though. Being very patient with yourself, especially when it comes to what you believe to be emotional things, things that maybe make you feel super defensive, things that maybe make you feel like you haven't always seen things for what they are, or like maybe you always do see things for what they are and it makes you be, it makes you be, it makes you turn yourself inward a lot and you can get to like being like very like bored with things and very like, uh, not wanting emotional things to come in for you. But the universe doesn't care about that. The universe just sees that you've been very patient in your life and you've been a hard worker. So now it's time for you to focus a little bit on your emotional well-being. And I know that's kind of annoying sometimes, but it's like a lot. It comes after a lot of healing yourself because you've had to do a lot of healing. You've had to go inward a lot. Fourth house energy is really nice energy, but it's also very sad energy because it's very like... um intuitive energy it's very like psychic energy as they would say so it's like having all of these uh past emotional triggers come back for you in the in your present and then you having to work through it because you really are bored with what you've been through you really are like everything that i've been through emotionally was just boring or like didn't bring me any type of solace so why would i want to go through anything emotional again or like you need something emotional to come in for you so the universe gives it to you okay it's the hand of God, your aliens, your ancestors, your beings, your deities, your aliens, whatever you choose to believe in. That is the hand of them giving you a cup, okay? And reminding you of the three that are below. Don't get stuck on the past. What you've come what you've come together with in the past is in your past. Now it's time for you to focus on your present, okay? And then with the nine of wands, I know that this deals with the present right now because we're going through a very defensive time where we really have been a wounded warrior. This is a wounded warrior card. This is a card of like really having to pull from your spiritual side, really pull from all those places of yourself that you you know you're capable of pulling from and being aware of the lessons that you're learning through your life. And that's important, okay? There's a lot of reflecting. There's a lot of lesson learning. There's a lot of being patient. There's a lot of coming together with things that really will make you feel like your root system is uh, is being properly watered, we'll say. With the star card in reverse and the four of wands here, it's like maybe all of the commitments that you wanted to put into things or like you're, you're, uh, you're really focusing on like something that's going to be withstanding the, the test of time. Like when it comes to um, something that makes you very emo um, emotionally or like creatively connected to it, okay? A lot of dealing with learning how to develop yourself personally beside like what you look like because this deals with the first house of Aries when you get the four of wands it's like really 
okay, you want to come to together with things, you want to merge with things, you want union with something very badly, something that you've been waiting for. This is really emotional in nature, just just so just in case you guys aren't aware yet. But it's like really coming together with something that you believe in, like something that really aligns up with you, like something that you've been wishing for, something that you've been waiting for for so long that you've put yourself in a in a um, perpetual healing mode. You're in a in a state of like trying to really uh recover and heal and trust me this is my reading too this isn't i don't just sit around and just do readings for myself all day or for other people like this is like we're getting it all at one time right so it's really cool to see that we've been doing a lot of healing we're not just like oh things suck we don't care we don't want to emotionally invest in anything anymore because we've been through so much pain been through so much turmoil been through so much trauma been through so much that we've had to rebuild ourselves from and like heal ourselves from and uh, maybe even like recover other people sometimes like we've had to, we've had to be the person that other people can go to to help them to heal to help them to seek their own idea of why they've been going through what they've been going through and like bringing a lot of balance and stability to other people which is really important too because it brings us these little victories with the seven of pentacles I know it's like yeah you might not always see your rewards of what you've been reaping but don't worry you will at some point in your life and maybe you do now because I feel like the four of wands is like really seeing something and really wanting something and going for it. And this is like what they call the, um, like it's like your, uh, your marriage card or like your really, your commitment cards. So it's like finding things that come together with you that make you feel like it's not, it's not anything but being yourself to be around these people, places or things. Okay. It's being very comfortable very comfortable in a situation crisis averted in some way or another I'll say that much even a crisis with yourself sometimes we can get so scared to do something that we don't do it and like it keeps us feeling like um, self-conscious so with the tower in reverse I know we're not allowing anything that feels scary or any change that makes us feel like we're unsteady we're not allowing it to keep us stuck we're gonna keep moving through we're gonna keep pushing through because we do understand that like Everything has a cycle. Everything has seasons. Uh, things can change. You can change your mind. You can change the way you are. You can change so many different things about yourself that in change in ways that make you feel like you're actually being, you're being made for a purpose. Like you feel like you have a reason to do things. Like you feel like there's a, there's a purpose for coming together with certain things and not feeling like you don't want to emotionally uh, be available sometimes, right? So with the Knight of Pentacles being here too, it's just like really constantly, you know, reflecting on your your dramas, those things that you've been through in your life, you know, the things that have overly made you feel so passionately and then took away your spark, the things that have made you feel like you've always had to have wear armor, the things that have made you feel like you always had to kind of move into things a little bit slowly because you don't want to move too fast into things because you don't know what could happen with things. That's just how it goes. You're organizing, you're analyzing, you're paying attention to things around you and you wanna make sure that things around you are gonna be useful to you in the long run. Which I will say, if you are uh, Ace of Wands at the bottom with the King of Pentacles, it's moving yourself from a knight to a king. We're moving ourselves from the knight. We're not gonna be slow. We're not gonna be taking our time in things. Not if it's not necessary. If we need to move forward with things that we need to move forward with, we will because that's just the way the world goes. Like even the tower, I know that's fast. Like it's like, whoop, oh, there you go. So don't be <clears throat> so much Aries energy, so much first house energy with the emperor, two of swords. We're, we're really trying to uh, master being okay with what we cannot see, okay? With the two of swords, it's really, you know, people wanting to be in your presence, people talking about you. Things you just don't even have any idea about. And then all of a sudden, it's like you're holding your swords up and you're blindfolded. And then the universe is like, hey, are you done there? Are you going to take down your blindfold? Are you going to put your arms down and join us? So it's so cool because it's like we are with the emperor. We're going to let go of anything that doesn't serve us when it comes to negative uh, gossip, anything like that. We don't really care. If it doesn't bring us anything that makes us feel like it's contractual or it's a long-term partnership... We just don't care. We're not going to take any, we're not taking anything mentally from things that don't serve us in the long run, okay? Which is great because you don't, you don't want to get stuck in like all these past things that people might say about you or if you find out communication like, oh, people are talking about you or people 
have been um, just trying to mess with your uh, mental health when it comes to like energy. People don't believe that you can really be like energetically draining. Like you can really go into a room and just feel all the people that are just like draining the room. Like it's crazy. So guard yourself, protect yourself in whatever way that may be for you. I know it sounds fucking crazy, trust me. Oh, guard your energy, put your put your energetic bubble up, you know? But uh try some try some visualization. It's the least you could do in this world, right? It's not that hard. I visualize shit all the time, you know? <laughs> so it's like being the emperor, being very tactful, being very uh, aware of why we're doing what we're doing. And being very comfortable with ourselves and confident within ourselves. Like being able to like get what we need and do what we need to do because we just have an inner drive to do it. We're not so worried about how people are going to view us. We don't care. We're just moving in the direction that we're moving in because we want to. We're moving towards something that is uh, bigger than just how we feel about past situations or how we feel about past traumas. You know, we're moving into really owning our, our traumas, owning our dramas and becoming better people because of it and less, less apt to being overly emotional in certain situations. Okay. That's really important because trust me, I've seen some things where I'm like, Oh, had emotion not been so, uh, so overwhelming in that moment for people things could have gone a lot differently, you know? So being aware of like emotional, <clears throat> being emotional when you need to be emotional and welcoming emotion that definitely, welcoming emotion that, that lets down your defense and lets you feel like the emperor that you are, okay? So of all that I have said here, the most important thing that I wanna say is I appreciate you, I really truly do. Just the fact that you take time to watch this video today really means a lot to me, so um, yeah. I appreciate you. Thank you. And I hope you got something out of this. And stay kind to yourself and be welcoming of anything that you feel like is lined up with you, especially when it comes to how you feel about yourself and connecting with people, places, or things that really make you feel good about yourself. Okay? Thank you.